you might be doing self-custody wrong. Even if you are withdrawing all your Bitcoin from your exchange, you could end up paying high fees in the future if you don't understand how fees are determined. We break it down for you in this video. Imagine you dollar cost average into Bitcoin and withdraw to self-custody. Each withdrawal will create what is called an unspent transaction output, or UTXO. When you spend those coins in the future, a higher number of UTXOs will result in higher fees since the transaction size is now larger. Even if an exchange offers free withdrawals, you can still pay high fees in the future when you spend those coins. If Bitcoin becomes even more popular in the future, then on-chain fees could become very high. So what's the solution? Withdraw larger sums from the exchange to your cold storage so that you have fewer but larger UTXOs. Do you already have many small UTXOs? You can consolidate them by sending a transaction to yourself when network fees are low. If you are using auto withdrawals, make sure to set a higher threshold to ensure you save on fees in the future. The right number is a personal choice. On River, we use a minimum of 0.005 Bitcoin.